Yes, no, no Josh should also do a master of grand sign. No? I don't want already. You don't have already. Yes. Shh, put back flag. Put back flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are already in Leicester. Um, like we said, the hall is the hall is already getting ready. You can see the red carpet where Honorable Joseph Weba will have to walk through to have a seat. You can see um, those who have been invited already arriving. Hi, thanks for coming. This is the Southern Commons Community UK Facebook Live page where we try to bring events to uh, those who follow us and those who are following the struggle of the people of Southern Cameroons. And we are very, very sure that um, your friend Marianta must have told you a little about what is going on in the oh, Southern yeah. Cameroon. Yeah, yeah. So what are your impressions? What do you think about the whole thing, uh, looking at what Marianta has told you? Well, I'm here basically in a situation um, with Marianta whereby we are trying to um, provide support for the displaced peoples. Of the, as a result of the political situation, um, that's actually where my kind of interest primarily lies. Um, I can't speak on behalf of Marianta, obviously, you yeah, know, maybe. but um, it is to help the refugees, um, which obviously there's a lot of women and children, everything situated, and I very much feel for them as a woman, and to um, help help them to kind of you know, give them basically whatever support we can to, you know, people as displaced people, yeah. So do you think the international community has done enough to try to salvage the situation? It's a very complex situation. Um, a very complex situation. And I feel that the ideal is diplomacy. Um, I understand that is very, very difficult in view of the situation. And I think Joseph Werber has actually tried, you know, to kind of do that by uh, political, diplomatic means. But I think it is a very, very difficult situation. All right. Thank you so much. We are very pleased to have you. I can see some from my comments. Lots of people are saying thank you and please keep supporting us. Yeah. Have you got something to say, sir? Uh, yeah, um, I've learned a lot more about uh, Southern Cameroon um, since the wife has been working with um, Marianta, and uh, I think uh, it's a big humanitarian it's, situation. It's, um, it's very sad when uh, groups in a country are persecuted like this and uh, the suffering that's caused. And uh, I think the problem is it's a. Uh, it's a wider problem in the whole of the world as well, and uh, it's some of the situation we're living through as well. All right, we are very, very happy to have you here in a short while. We're going to start, yeah. and hopefully, Honorable Joseph will be here to to speak to speak to you, and you see him, and you'll be very delighted to know that um, even non-Southern Cameroonians feel the pain and know that as a human being, we almost stand up to support those who have no voice in the face of oppression. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Um, and so I'll try, I, I, I try to talk to other people who have come around. How are you feeling today? Ready to receive Honorable Joseph Weba? Sorry, yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Mom, how do you feel being here today, knowing that you are you are in a situation where um, you are not able to physically help some people, but you feel their pain? So much that you are out today with the kids to make sure that you help in reaching out to them. How do you feel? Well, I can't say I feel happy because uh, that's not the word. But uh, I would like to make a difference and I feel privileged to be in a forum whereby we will do something that can make a difference to help others who are in need. And if possible, if our voice voices are put together, if that would help, 
right. Their yeah. voices of the, I mean, the voiceless voices to be heard. That's how I feel about it. All right. Thank you so much. Hello. You are here already, but don't worry. Feel comfortable. Things are going to start soon. Hello. Hello. Hi. What do you know about what's going on in Southern Cameroon? Um, honestly speaking, I'm not quite aware of it, but I, as my only knowledge is that people's human rights um, are being breached, and I myself did human rights here, so I'm here to find out more. And I feel like ev I feel everybody should be a citizen of the world, and I feel like. We all have an obligation to help each other because, you know, everybody in this world, we all need each other, you know, be it from Nigeria, you know, you, not everything you use is from Nigeria, you know, so we all need to help each other and Cameroon, it doesn't matter, Malawi, so I do think wherever there is human rights issues, you know, just because we're so far away from it in the UK doesn't mean we should accept you know that the issue is in there so just because there isn't it's not prevalent here it doesn't mean we should accept it as not an issue and I think this is great and I think you know like I said I'm not Cameroon but I think it's great that everybody should help everybody I do truly believe that we should all have more compassion in the world and help out so I'm excited to find out what is actually going then have more knowledge of so it. So as, as you're growing up you heard about the despicable situation in which Young girls find themselves in the bushes. Yeah. And uh, you are privileged to be in England where you can go to school, yeah. you have the free time. And someone coming from from Malawi, right? I'm Malawi, yes. And you definitely feel like African. So um, I must yeah, say this and gentlemen, she's yes. a true pan Africanist. Yeah. And so what do you feel about the way uh, the dictators in Africa are treating women and children? I think um, it, I think they're holding Africa back because I genuinely believe that um, we were all created as equals in the eyes of God and I feel like them not affording women the same opportunities to education is holding us back because I feel like in the more you know Western countries we're more developed because women we're fighting for women and men to have the same rights and that is what's gonna move us forward we all women you know for instance this is my mom you know and she's like the smartest woman I've ever met wow. and, and you know, if wow. there's a lot more, she's African, you know, born and raised, so if there's a lot more of her. You know, we need to explore those opportunities. We need to explore those women and, you know, children who do have the skills that they might do. And not obviously, obviously not everybody's academic, but people have different skills, and that is not limited to men. And I think the only way for Africa to grow is to afford the same rights to everybody and also teach our children that. So I do think it is important that the children also do get... You know, the, the, the right support, it, it is not right, and I, we as a people, we should be responsible. Children are children, you know, they don't bring themselves into this world. The people bring it into the world, so I do think we do have a responsibility, not just as Africans or state um, citizens of a particular country, but I think citizens of the world. We have the right to every single person, and I feel like I, I being very privileged um, to have had the opportunity to come here, I think it's very sad that not everybody's afforded that opportunity and I think when you do have that privilege you should see yourself as blessed and say you know what God thank you for giving me this opportunity I am going to share this love that you've given me these opportunities that you've given me so I hope that this is the start of that and I think it's the way um, Africa is going to move forward. Well I can tell mom that she said she's so proud to have you as a mother but I'm proud to have her as an African sister because I see uh, a female um, I, I, Nelson Mandela growing up here with you and I must say keep up thank you so much. Thank you so the emotions, much. the energy oh, is yes, there. It tells, it, it tells how passionate you are yeah. about this and hopefully in the days ahead we're going to be talking more about this because we are creating a network where we can start talking, yeah. start building the synergy amongst Africans and, and to have a wonderful start. situation. Thank yeah. you so much. We're going to talk again okay. anytime right. soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting people already arriving at the venue, and you heard how passionate the young lady was. She's from Malawi, but she's so passionate about the issues that are happening in the southern Cameroons in such a way that she thinks that we must, even our privilege that we are, we have to look about the things that are happening everywhere in Africa. And here with me is the chairman of the SCNC, uh, Mr. Tamanji, Mr. Tamanji Robert, who's come all the way from London. He's been everywhere and he's arrived already. He's going to be 
uh, part of the delegation that will be leading Honorable Joseph Weba to this hall, and he's been here to feel the temperature of the event. Many people say the SCNT is the mother organization in this revolution, but then we leave that to them. But I am here to talk to uh, Mr. Robert Tamanji, Chairman Tamanji, about the revolution in entirety, but specifically, um, I hear there's something that is going to happen in the UK in May, and we shall touch briefly on that, and we shall find a time exclusively to talk about the LCNC with Robert Tamanji uh, from the start of the LCNC and where the LCNC is now, uh, but that's not going to be happening today, but we'll be rest assured that we shall bring some of these very strong questions to Robert Tamanji um, in the days ahead. But first, you're welcome, sir. Welcome, Comrade uh, Mango. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to talk to our people. Good evening, everyone, and good evening. It's a pleasure being here today in Leicester, a very significant day in the history of our struggle. We are here with, uh, we're expecting Honorable Weber to come here today so that we can have the opportunity to lay with our brothers and sisters here in Leicester to talk about the revolution and a way forward. And also, to have an opportunity for those who did not make it in London on the 12th of January to be able to have a copy of the book that he's written about our struggle. That's why we're here today. Yeah, um, you've come all the way from London. and Is it the spirit that you want the movement to adopt? What is being done in the UK where you have um, everyone coming from different backgrounds and we come together in the name of the revolution. Do you think if the entire world, Ambazonians around the world, could copy this, we would be in Boya probably next week. To be honest with you, Comrade Emmanuel, this is the most fundamental issue that is plaguing this struggle. The, 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 the necessity and the urgency for unity, unity without compromise. Unity is essential here because, as I say it, living in division or doing things contrary to the fact that we don't have unity will not take us to anywhere. I can assure you that if all of us come together, irrespective of our different uh, views about this struggle, irrespective of our different groups or different frontline groups in the stand, the most fundamental thing is for us to come together as one. We have a common problem. It is very urgent. It is very, very crucial. Our people are being slaughtered every minute, every second. We see the, gra the, the graphic images coming back from, from, from Cameroon. It is unthinkable. It is unbearable. We must come together as one. Bring our ideas together our resources together and see how we can come we can form a common front that will take us to Boya sooner than later. This is important and this is necessary. And I take I call every Ambazonian, every Southern Cameroon, wherever in the UK, please if you are in Leicester, we need you here. Come together. Let's bring your ideas together and see how we can move forward this struggle. All right. Um, enough about Leicester, enough about I mean it's never going to end. We're going to come back to that one. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. Why is the SCNC uh, national convention coming to the UK. Is it because this is where the problem started or is it because of Robert Tamanji? The NCNC, as you say it rightly, it's you and I. The NCNC, let's give thanks to NCNC for keeping this relation to where we are today because if you take away NCNC, devolution would not have existed. So we want to say thanks to NCNC. I want to say thanks to everybody. But the most important thing which I would highlight here today, Comrade Emmanuel, is the fact that the UK on the 28th, on the 29th, I'm calling every Ambazonian, every Southern Cameroonian, wherever you are, put this date into your diary, 28th and the 29th of June. There's going to be a world NCNC convention. What does that mean? It means that all the delegates all over the world, because we have NCNC in every country in the world, particularly in the West, you know, Germany, Russia, America, Sweden, name them, you know, everyone will be converging in London in a very momentous event that we want to use that platform as a means to bring all the various movements together to see how we can form a common front and see how we can liberate our people. We want to use that opportunity to see how we can raise funds to now, help our people back. How is that? Southern how community. is that going to be different from the other platforms that have been set up by Ambazonians, the ARC, the the Morris, the now APNC, and how is SCNC going to be different? Yes, that is a very good question. The NCNC from the creation has often stood for one thing and one thing only the restoration of our independence. We have nothing to negotiate about that. We have not changed that 
that strand was taken ever since it was created in 1995. So what makes it quite different is the fact that we don't weaver with what we, st what we stand for, what we believe in. And we believe that that is what everybody will come to on that day and be able to bring their own ideas together. So the difference here is that the NCNC has a central role in, in part of the fact that it's part of the IG, which will present our struggle at the moment. Okay. But NCNC is there as a model organization. So the importance of this convention is the fact that it is not only for NCNC members, but it is for the entire Southern Cameroonian and Bazinian as a whole. Wherever you are, please ensure that you preserve this day, 28th and the 29th of June. Come to London. There's going to be a massive demonstration that will, that will go far and wide to create some sort of reawakening. That will go far and wide to internationalize this struggle. We are going to knock at doors. We are going to do things. So I'm calling on every Southern Cameroon, wherever you are, in Sweden, in America, in Russia, in Germany, in Netherlands, in Luxembourg, place we are all converging in London. The NCNC is calling you as the mother of this struggle to come. We need you because we want to ensure that we work as a team at this crucial moment to liberate our land and to create the Boyasuna. That is what is important in my world. That's what is important because I believe in this struggle. It is my passion. My identity is Arun Cameronia. My culture, everything that makes me whom I am is where I come from. And at this juncture, I cannot compromise anything at all. But the fact that NCNC is here to ensure that Southern Cameroon and Bazanon is free. I want to address our leaders in Kundinke that we are here because we believe in this struggle. Wherever you are, please do not give up because we are doing everything possible to ensure that you can be liberated. We've just heard the good news from the ruling of the court in Nigeria where they're asking the Cameroonian government to repatriate our people back to Nigeria that the abduction was illegal. The adoption contravenes Nigerian law, contravenes international law, and they have to be compensated. And I believe that the Cameroonian government will be able to abide the ruling of the Nigerian court. That notwithstanding, let them be strong. I want to call on Siseko Ayoktabe. I want to call on the National Chairman of NCNC for Ngalanfo and others. And others, please do not give up. Believe in us as you believe in yourself. We are on the right side of history. What we are doing is what is right for our people. The world knows that Southern Cameroon was a free and independent country until we joined the Republic in 1961 in a, in a forged, in a, forged uh, a union, a union that was built on deception, a union that was built on illicit agendas. And now we all know. So whatever it takes, we will liberate our people. We will never give up. The resistance we have now put in place, we cannot retreat, but forward forever, backward never. All right. Um uh, I'm happy. The passion is there. You've always been very passionate about this struggle. And there's something you keep saying, keep doing what you are doing, so far it's for the revolution and do not attack the next person. Yeah, yeah, that's now, um, Robert Tamanji, you've been in the UK for quite a very long time. You've been in the struggle. Yeah. There's so much talk about we have been in this struggle for 23 years. Yes. Are you also of that school of thought which believe that because you've been long enough in the struggle, everyone must listen to you? No, 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 no. no com uh, comrade Emmanuel, that's not the case. That's not the point. What I'm saying here, it doesn't matter how long you've been in this struggle, but you cannot take that away from those who have been there. But the essence is this, the importance of us coming together is the fact that you have ideas as much as I have ideas. We have a common problem, and what is the problem? To free our land, to free our people from, from a systematic and endemic form of persecution, of subjugation, of marginalization, of massive killings, of a genocide. As we speak now, this genocide currently taking place in Southern Cameroon. The whole world is aware of it, and the UN is sitting quiet. And the UK government, where you and I are now, created that problem. They have a moral obligation. That is why, on many occasions, I've given talks to the, the House of Lords, the House of Parliament. You have done that. We've been to the Commonwealth, telling them that they have to restore the errors they make in the past. So it is not about whether who had been in the struggle, but it's how we come together as one to force our ideas and to ensure that we reach Boya sooner than later. If we have any differences, let me assure you, for now is not the time. When we reach Boya and sit in our house, now we can now resolve our differences. But the, but the most important thing now is we need to liberate our land and our people from 
the yoke of the Republic. All right. Um, what, what do we expect from the convention, apart from delegates coming together and talking the revolution? What do you expect from comrades in the UK? Um, are there any specific activities that will be taking place? Um, are you calling on SNC members and non SNC members, Ambazonians all over the UK to come reach out to you now? I mean, what do you expect generally from the UK public? Wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to start with you, Comrade Emmanuel. I expect so much from you as a communication officer for the Southern Cameroon UK community. You have a fundamental role to disseminate the image, to disseminate the information that will go out there. You have to sensitize the public. You have to create awareness. All of us, because as I said, the NCNC is inclusive. So every Southern Cameroonian, whatever group you belong to, whether in the, uh, 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 the uh, AGC or, or uh, NCY or the NCNC is calling on every Southern Cameroonian to meet us, to come together as one, 28th and 29th of June, come out and bring us ideas on how we can move forward this struggle and free our people. So every Southern Cameroonian, wherever you are, the NCNC needs you. This is the time and this is the moment. We must resist and we must resist and we must rise up. Because let me tell you something, Emmanuel, let me tell you this. This is very fundamental. If there is going to be any shift, if there's going to be any way we will free our people, it's going to come from without and not from within. We don't expect our people back there that are under, under the yoke, under the tyranny of Pogbia, to be free. They cannot do anything. They, can't, they don't have the powers. They are doing their much. They are doing their best. And I want to take this opportunity and congratulate the guys at Ground Zero. Despite the difficult challenges they face, what they have been able to do, it is fundamental. I just can't believe it. And we congratulate them. We will continue to support them in any, any way to see that we free our people. So the most important point here is let us come together as one. 28 and 29 of June. Come on ideas and push at this guy and liberate our land. All right. Um, so, so you've heard it from um, um, the chairman of the SCNC UK, uh, Mr. Tamanje Robert. We shall speak to him extensively about the event on the 28th and most likely to other comrades of the SCNC to tell us how prepared they are for, for that event. And you must know that the SCNC is a key I mean, this is a community, and whoever is within the community that works for the revolution is part of the community, and, and we're going to do everything possible to make sure that that event is a success, Thank because you. it is all about Ambazonia. Yeah. I mean, you, no matter which group you belong to, yeah. you are part of the community. Excellent. And we're going to keep doing our bit, uh, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, to make sure that uh, the message goes out there, but uh, I am sure Ambazonians uh, would want to know more about the SCNC and because we are here to launch this book and hear Honorable Weber speaks to us for the first time, yeah. we will leave it here at the moment and we shall come back to you and most likely in a very, very extensive interview about the SCNC and what we expect and we'll be glad to have other delegates in other parts of the country reaching, us to, reaching out to us to talk about this event. Thank you so much and hopefully we shall talk again to the chairman of the SCNC. Ladies and gentlemen, our comrades are already arriving. And we are going to uh, keep the momentum going um, um, to, to, to make sure that we, we reach out. Here is the DJ for tonight. Hi, DJ. Hello. Uh, if you've started giving us um, a typical uh, traditional music from Absolutely. the Southern Cameroons, uh, is that we your own way of telling the story? That is my way of telling the story. We need to revolutionize it. We need to promote our music because our music is the best and it is the richest music in Africa. And the only way to do it is to, as we're emerging as a new nation, we need to let that music be known all over the world. And that is my mission as a DJ. I am absolutely thrilled to promote our culture as much as possible. Many DJs have been accused of westernizing uh, the culture of uh, Africa. Let's take the context of Ambazonia. Uh, is that something, is that an opinion you hold as a DJ or it's something you look forward in changing? Well, music, it's something that hasn't really got boundaries, to be honest with you. Um, but you have to be able to promote your music. You have to be able to promote your culture. We've got a very, very exceptionally rich culture. And our music is an aspect of our culture. We've got talents. We've got, you know, Tata Kinge. We've got... Um, all the various new ones, for example, that are emerging. And so we need to give a good shot to that music as an emerging nation in Africa. All right. Thank you. We just speak with you now for, to turn to uh, Nya Lovet. It's an 
an activist with the SCNC, and they've been very personal stories she's expressed. Uh, she's told us about what happened in Cameroon and what role she played in terms of making sure that the revolution stood out in Cameroon. Love it. Um, uh, the chairman of the SCNC has mentioned that there is a convention in May. How prepared are you for that convention? Oh, actually the convention is in June, but yeah, we sure I am very, very prepared for the convention. It's going to be hosted in London, I think, which is going to be very, very fun. And I would like to invite everyone to come and you're going to actually get the interior more about what NCNC is all about for people that don't know much about the struggle and what's happening back home. It's going to be a good day for people to come out and support us and yeah, just get what it's all about and get a better view and a better understanding. All right. We shall talk to Love. Uh, let me turn to um, a senior comrade in the revolution. Uh, endurance. 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 Um, are you an endurance for the revolution or was it was it destined for you to have that name? Um, I, I, I'll, I'll say it's like uh, both ways. It was destined for me to have that way, but still I'm an endurance for the revolution. I know it's the revolution has been going on for two years now and ongoing, like actively. And uh, what we need to have as comrades is the resilience, the endurance, and which I'm standing in front of everybody telling all comrades that it's very important to have that endurance, have that passion, so that we can forge on to Boya. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. We shall come back to you um, in, in, in no time when we buy is here. We're going to stop the broadcast at the moment. Thank